Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Alpha ABS video tutorials. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to set up your skills um, and pretty much get them to behave exactly how you guys want. Um, before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video and also hit the notification button to be notified when I do release those videos. Now let's get to it. If you haven't watched the last episode, definitely do make sure you check it out. Um, because without um, the information coming from the last video, you guys might struggle a little bit with this particular video. Um, now, pretty much to set up your skills, as long as you guys understand the four basic types of skills that you can set up, you should be fine. Everything else um, is kind of optional. And, you know, depending on whether if you want cast time or reload time or whatever you guys want, um, it all just falls in place. Um, so again, I'm going to briefly go over these just in case um, you guys missed the last video. But again, I do encourage you to watch that last video. So we have instant, which is ABS zero. Um, this affects pretty much a target that's in front of the user or the user itself. Um, vector, which is pretty much projectiles. It targets one target away from the user. So like a fireball spell or something like that. Circle is an AOE, it pretty much attacks all enemies around the user. So left, right, uh, behind, to the side, as long as it's in the right next to the user, it will get affected. Um, zone is pretty much um, an attack that only affects the area that's in the direction of the user. So now that we know the four basic types, let's actually um, go into more details in each of those different types. So starting with ABS0. Um, let me just go ahead and copy this paste so ABS zero again it can either um, depending on which scope you have it set to it could either be the user or it could be one enemy right um, and then the rest is just simple you could just set it as you would the default um, battle system so let's leave this as uh, let's leave that as magic let's call this power attack All right, let's give it a random icon. Doesn't really matter. Call it a powerful attack. <laughs> All right, uh, MP cost, let's leave that at zero. TP cost, let's leave that at zero. But uh, again, you can change it to whatever you like. Um, occasion, always make sure you set that to battle screen um, or it would not work. Uh, Speed, we can leave that the same. Uh, success, we can leave that the same. Repeat. Um, again, this will affect how many times this one skill was actually hit. So for this, let's just make it two. Um, and then certain hit and all those other stuff will be the same as when you're making a regular um, skill. All right. Um, damage type, HP damage formula. Let's give that a static value of. 300 so every time you use this attack i mean this skill on an enemy it will always do 300 damage with a 20 percent variance can they do a critical hit yep so um only thing you really have to take away from this part is abs zero um which is going to be attacking the enemy which is a scope and then always make sure you set this to battle screen the rest you just set as you would the regular battle system um, and then let's also make another ABS zero because these are the two instants that you would use the ABS zero um, heal. So again, it could be a healing skill. It could be a buff. It's, um, let's just pick that. Heals user. Keep it at magic. MP calls leave that at zero. Again, you could change it to whatever you want. Scope the user. Occasion battle screen. The rest we keep the same. Actually, animation we could change that too. Doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna pick that. All right. Now let's just go ahead and give that to. So we got power attack, and we got heal. Right. Now the next one is vector, which is fireballs and stuff like that. 
Um, so let's go ahead and go back to skill. Let's do fireball. And then let's go ahead and set that to that. Shoot ball of fire at an enemy. Our MP cost again, leave that to zero. Scope one, I'm um, one enemy. Battle screen, um, animation, doesn't really matter, but I'll just do hit fire, just for now. Um, and then, don't forget, ABS, ABS colon one, right? So this, the ABS colon one pretty much says it's a vector, and the scope, you know, it's affecting one enemy that you do select. Um, so going in more detail with actually the vector, these are the things, these are the actual perimeters that are optional that you could use to kind of fine tune your skills, right? Um, so when you, whenever you're using a vector, you could always set an image. So whenever you shoot, you know, actually use a skill, that image will show up. Um, so all you would have to do is replace the W with whatever the file name is in your game. So if I come over here and I navigate into image, pictures, um, I could use this fireball, copy it. You don't have to put in the file extension. You could just put in fireball, hit apply. Okay, so now we actually have a fireball. Um, again, let's go back to skill. All you really have to take away from this is ABS1, which is a vector, set the scope to one enemy, occasion, always battle screen. Do not forget that. And then with the image, you could select what kind of image you want um, for the fire, or, you know, for your whatever um, type of skill it is. So if it was a water ball or shock, whatever, you would use the appropriate image for it. Uh, so if we go into the game now to actually test this out, uh, we could try the fireball first. It's too far, there we go. As you can see, there's no reload time, no nothing. They're just shooting as many times as you want and as fast as you could tap the three key. Um, I actually forgot to set um, these to do damage and then of course if I do the heal it will heal me and then if I do the power attack it will attack the enemy twice like we said before all right so let's actually go back over here since we did forget HP damage 250 plus a dot mat And then let's go ahead and come back over here. So if we do want to make a circle, all we have, to, I mean, yeah, a circle type, all we have to do is just um, come over here, type in ABS2, uh, HP damage, let's make that 1000, why not? Uh, Shockwave. Give it a random image. Shocks all enemies around the user. Magic leave that the same. Occasion set that to battle screen. Scope set that to all enemies. Now, if you set it to um, one enemy it actually changes the behavior of this particular type and i'll get back into that later towards the end of this video for now let's just set it to all enemies right hit apply 
Zero, zero, and we have our circle um, the last type is pretty much um, the zone now it's kind of actually hard to show you in game um, of how it actually works um, and that's mainly because actually, I'll get to that. Let's see. Uh, water Hits all enemy in front of user. Maybe a zero, I mean three. Uh, scope. Again, all enemies. Occasion, battle screen. And then the rest you will set up as your regular. Um, 240 variance. Let's just make this crazy critical. Yes, element, water, uh, thunder, there it is, fire, and this one can be light, and this one can be physical. Alright, now let's give all these skills to our user. show you guys that we are doing stuff uh, it doesn't really matter the animation that you pick all right now we could do this so as long as the enemy is in front of the user they will get hit by this attack right now if they're like they don't have to be directly in front of the user as some because again keep in mind that it's a cone type of thing right um, and then this one is our regular power attack which is the ABS uh, zero that just affects the one enemy and then this is the one that affects us ABS zero as well but it heals us instead and then we have the fireball, which is a projectile. And then we also have the AOE, which affects everything that's around the user. So I don't actually have to be facing the enemy. I could be facing away from the enemy. Let me kind of trap him down here. See, so facing away from him, he still gets affected as long as he's within that circle. All right. So now some optional um, perimeters that you could add to kind of, you know, make your skills a little bit more manageable, um, I should say, because you don't want your enemy, I mean, your the, the player to always spam the fireball. You might want to give it some type of a cooldown, um, or for example, for your shockwave, which is the AOE, you might want the radius to be a little bit bigger. So all you would have to do is, um, if you come down to the documentation, it will have all the perimeters listed for you. Um, so it's kind of easy to know exactly what you want. So for example, if I take this radius and I add it to my shockwave, by default, I believe it's five. It's actually no. By default, it's zero which I'm guessing that you have to be right next to the user. But then if I set this to five, which is the maximum, um, it's gonna actually affect enemies five tiles away. Um, and then of course, for, actually let me go scroll all the way up here. If you want your fireball to go a certain amount of um, tiles, you can come over here and you can add the range which will again put let you set exactly how far that um, the fireball will actually travel so if I go to 15 
apply uh, and then let's say I want to have like a like a cast time so how long will it take to cast this spell I could come over here copy cast time um, and I could set that to maybe 20 frames so when I use um, heal it's not gonna heal me right away it will take 20 frames before it heals me um, let's see what other thing can I add over here I could do a cast animation so the animation that will play um, while the enemy, I mean the user's casting the spell or the enemy's casting the spell. Uh, but let's not do that. Let's uh, so for the fireball, let's also add a reload time. So this is the cooldown. So after you do a fireball, how you know how long is it gonna take for the spell to be ready to be used again? Now again, if you use reload time, you could set a um, a, a defined amount of time to pass before you could use a spell again but you could always use reload perimeter which will then um, allow you to set how long it would take for the spell to cool down based on your stats so let's if we go to shockwave and then add in reload perimeter what we could do here is we could make it based on agility right so depending on uh, cannot spell today. So based on whatever your agility is, that's how fast your um, your reload time will be. Now, there's something you do have to keep in mind, right? The higher the number, the slower it, it reloads, right? So for example, if you want it to be based off your agility, you would have to put a negative in front of the agility because let's say the user starts the game out with 20 agility, right? So it's gonna take 20 frames for the um, skill or whatever to reload. And then let's say later in the game, the user now has 100 agility. Now it's gonna take longer for that skill to reload. But when you put negative in front of it, it's pretty much gonna you know, be shorter times. Um, now again, if you're, I don't think it can go any faster. Um, I don't think it can go any faster than zero. So normally what you do want to do is add another perimeter to this, like for example, attack speed. I spell that right. Attack speed, yep. So pretty much all this is saying is um, the reload, the cooldown time for this particular spell is my attack speed minus my agility. Right? Not actually plus, but minus my agility because a negative and a positive is a negative. Right? So if I go back into the game, let's try out the the fireball. See, as you can see, there's a wider range than before. Before I had to be like right next to them, but now because we set it to 15, it's way further. And then, um, let's see, did we actually add that reload perimeter? And then if we change this, right now it's like about 30 frames. Let's change this to 300 to kind of show you how far it will take. I mean, how long it can take. Uh, actually, the game's already done. Close that. Open that back up. New game. Select four. See, it's still reloading. Give it a second. Now you can use it again. Reloading. Now you could use it again. Um, and then for the radius, I mean for the um, actually, which one is this? So actually, I'm pressing six by accident. So now let's wait for that action to be ready because we did also change. Um, that attack speed minus agility. So if you actually go into my actor, you can see my attack speed is 400. So that 400 will pretty much get subtracted from what class is this guy, a hero. Agility. So 400 minus 32, which is still a large number. That's why it's taking so long to actually reload. Um, so let's pop it up. Kind of want to 
show you that is further. So now we kind of have to wait. I believe this should be about five tiles. Nope, it's not. Um, but yeah, you pretty much get the gist of it. Um, and then this one is still the same, and that one is still the same. So yeah, so depending on how you want the skill to behave, you could come over here, find the perimeter that you want to use, and add it to the game. I mean, to your skills. And that's pretty much it for this um, video. It's pretty much straightforward. Um, again, there's some things that you can actually set up without using the um, note tags, such as, well, the only one thing you could change is the cast time right and all you have to do is just change speed to whatever you want the cast time to be so for example if we go to water flood we could go ahead and change the cast time to 50 so it'll take 50 frames before you could actually use that spell so if we go back into the game see it's casting now it's gonna happen casting now it's gonna happen casting now it's gonna happen and it also has its own reload time so again all the perimeters are optional you could all you literally have to do is put in a b at zero all the way to three depending on which type you want set up the skill how you would normally and then if you want the extra perimeters like cast time range um, reload perimeter then you would add them into your skills all right that's it for this video the next one will be weapons and then items those should be fairly shorter than this particular one um definitely you guys stay tuned i have a lot more videos coming up make sure to like this video if you liked it dislike this video if you disliked it uh subscribe to be updated every time i release a new video and make sure you hit the notification or the bell icon which will notify you when i do release a video um but yeah that's it thank you for watching peace